Welcome to Lesson 11 of our step-by-step -step tutorial on building the demo mobile application. Where we left off in Lesson 10, uh, we had added a uh, temporary search button uh, to the uh, header of the uh, customer list panel. And when we clicked the uh, button, this temporary button, that opened up the uh, uh, search panel. But if we go back and look at the reference application, we can see that in the reference application, when we click uh, this button in the header, we get a menu that slides in from the right hand side, a so-called slide-in menu. In this lesson we're going to learn how to add the slide-in menu to our component. So let's go back now uh, to um, to our component uh, where we left it off at the end of lesson uh, 10. If you don't uh, have that uh, uh, component available, you can switch to lesson 11 and then go to the uh, lesson 11 start component. So we'll open up the component now, the Lesson 11 start, and then let's go now and uh, make this button over here open up a slide-in menu. So in order to do that, we go back to design mode and then scroll down to the very bottom of the screen. And then at the very end, we're going to add a new uh, container window and we're going to call it slide-in menu. So scroll all the way here to uh, containers, open up the container section select container and then choose the window container type and then uh, go ahead here and click the insert after button so that's going to go and insert a new container a new window container uh, currently called container 7 so let's now go here and give this a more meaningful name so click on the uh, container ID property and then replace container 7 with a uh, slide in menu so type in the word slide in menu and uh, give the window a more meaningful name so next in order to actually uh, display our menu we're going to use a list control to actually display the menu items so inside this window now that contains the slide in menu let's go to data controls uh, in the toolbox on the left, open up data controls and then scroll down until you see list and then uh, give the list a meaningful name. Uh, let's go in here and call it slide in menu and then go ahead and click OK and that's going to create a new list control for us um, uh, and we can now go and set the properties of this list control. So the list control is actually going to have the menu items that we'd like to appear on the menu. So we'll go back to the list control uh, in the properties pane on the right hand side and then click the smart field for list properties to bring up the list builder. So this list is not going against a SQL database um, uh, but it, it's just using a list of static items which represent our menu items. So we'll choose as our data source the default uh, static data and then open up the uh, smart field to actually type in the choices that appear in the menu. So the uh, first row needs to be the column title. So the column title that we want would be for example something like menu choices then the first uh, menu icon that we want is going to be search so type in search and then carry on typing the rest of the items until you have your list that looks like this so you'll have the first row is the column title is menu choices so that's somewhat arbitrary um, and then here are the actual items that appear in the list search new customers, orders, employees, etc. So now that we've defined the list, the, the data that this list is going to uh, uh, display, let's go ahead now to the list properties um, tab and then change this list from being a columnar list to a freeform list and then finally let's go to our list layout and then in our template just choose the menu choices column to display uh, the menu choices in the list itself. So then click OK now to close down the list builder. Now let's pause and pick this up in the next video.